Good day, all you wonderful people. Oh wait, I'm not adventure together. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. Um, yeah, so it's lunchtime here, and I had lunch already because uh, I was anticipating that I would be going to the gymnasium at lunchtime, so I wouldn't have time to eat lunch at lunchtime. So we ate it already. Um, my schedule is kind of messed up. I woke up at like 2.50 a.m. like this morning. And I'm like, I'm awake. Albeit I did go to sleep at 6.50 p.m. So uh, as I said many times before, when I eat dinner, I pass out. So like I got home, I'm hungry. I don't drink beer anymore. So it's like I go home and I eat dinner early and then I pass out. And then I wake up at like 3 a.m. And then I start drinking coffee. And it seems to be working for me. So yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, so also I got a microphone. I hope it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. The, the darn foam is coming off. Come on, foam. I'm gonna have to get some super glue. Yeah, so. Two days I made a video that I did not upload because uh, my selfie stick was rattling too much. It was just super annoying. I, I can't put any, anybody through that torture, including myself. Um, but it was like a 90 degree day. This was two days ago. It was uh, Sunday the 5th of November. It was 90 degrees out. And it was, it's, it was literally the last summer-like day of the year. And finally, we got a cold front that moved in. And like it's snowing and freezing in northern China right now. Beijing, is, Beijing was at the freezing point this morning. Um, and here it's just cool and nice. Probably 65 degrees out right now is my guess. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. It was 90 degrees the other day and everybody was like, what the hell is going on? It's November. Like this never happens. So finally, uh, the autumn kicked in about one month after the mid-autumn festival. So it came a month late this year, literally. More than a month late, like a month late and five days. Yeah, so hopefully this, is it blue? Yeah, it's blue, so that means it's working. Uh, so yeah, also, like I said, I'm not drinking beer anymore. So after work, I go home and I just eat, eat dinner right away pretty much and then I pass out. Um, and I wake up early and yeah, so today is day nine of them no beer. It's not really a challenge. It's just like, I was like, eh, I'm not gonna drink beer anymore and see what happens. Basically the beer was like the only unhealthy thing I was doing in my life, only thing. Like everything else was perfect. Now it's perfect. So let me tell you the side effects. The side effects, probably negative connotation. The benefits, okay, there are no side effects. The benefits uh, quitting drinking in my life, at least in my experience, I was drinking like every day, like moderate drinking every day, literally every day. I didn't miss a day. So except maybe when I had COVID, like maybe I took a couple of days off. I don't know. I can't remember. I had COVID like three times, three or four times. It didn't really affect me that much, like sore throat, just a sore throat and a mild fever. So the benefits so far, no side effects, no harmful things going on. The benefits have been just boundless amounts of energy. Yeah, at school. Like normally when I have a six class working day, I'm just freaking dead by the end of the class. But now it's like, give me six more, give me six more. Let's go, let's go. Um, yes, tons of energy. Like I just taught, I have a light day today. I have three classes a day. It's like I almost wish I had, I had more than that. So uh, I had class this morning and then I went home, ate lunch, took a, like a nap, which wasn't really a nap. It was like I fell asleep for maybe 30 seconds 
and then woke up and and then just tried to digest my food and then uh and then i went back to work yes 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 young lady is smiling she hears a funny language all right oh okay anyway uh yeah so i went i just went back to work finished passing out the test scores and chilling with the kids we had there was, there was no plan today other than handing out the test scores exam scores and that usually takes almost the entire class and then i got a two-hour lunch so i'm gonna spend an hour in the gym today probably at least 45 minutes oh yeah i was talking about quitting drinking so uh it's not like i was like boozing really hard but you know, moderate drinking every night was like just like the daily routine or the nightly routine. Um, just got way, I got so much more energy. Um, I'm sleeping a lot better, even though, you know, I went to bed at seven o'clock last night and I wake up at three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. That's still eight hours. So I didn't oversleep, but I didn't undersleep either. I got the right amount. Just the, my morning is a little bit longer to uh, do whatever that I want, prepare for school, usually listen and watch to YouTube videos and stories and whatnot, upload videos on YouTube, just whatever I wanna do, just chill in the morning, burn sage, take a shower, get dressed, go to work. Yeah, and uh, okay, I'm yelling. I don't know if I need to be yelling, but we'll see when I watch this. Yeah, so tons of energy, sleeping so much better. Well. Not so much better, but a lot better. Definitely a lot better. Maybe more R REM for sure. And uh, and some guy just gave me the "lao why what up" kind of shrug. And uh, yes, what else? Oh, like I w I didn't have problems. I did not have anxiety problems before. At least not recently. But any anxiety, there's no, it's, it's gone. It's totally gone. There's no anxiety at all. I, I might have had like a tiny little bit, especially in the mornings after some coffee. It's like, you know, you're surrounded by people and it's just like, uh, sometimes you can feel a little claustrophobic. And uh, I, don't, I don't feel that at all. Just totally comfortable around people 100% of the time. Um... Yeah, oh, one more thing. I think one more thing. Uh, so I would drink coffee. I'd drink like maybe five tall boys at night. Then I'd have dinner and pass out. And uh, the next morning I'd drink coffee. And the coffee, maybe because my electrolytes were a little out of whack. Share the road, bro. Maybe because my electrolytes were a little out of whack. I'd have the shakes, you know, from from the coffee, the coffee would give me the shakes and my handwriting would be kind of shitty because of, I don't know, maybe just uh, just electrolyte electrolyte imbalance is probably what's what was going on. So that's totally gone, no shakes. My electrolytes are back in balance. Yeah, her shirt says no common sense. She's gone, but anyway, the pink shirt says no common sense yes 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 i feel that about a lot of people no common sense there's no such thing as common sense because common sense ain't common right that's like a quote you can't really see it she's a fruit seller she's a good-hearted fruit seller yep 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 Yeah, so it's definitely cooler and uh, at least it's still sunny and dry because that's really all I care about. I don't, I don't need it to be warm. It's warm enough. It's still, it's still feels like, feel, it still feels like the beginning of autumn, but it's actually the end of autumn or the middle of autumn. 
feels like October. Feels feels like early October. So I'm still getting vitamin D well into the well into the middle of autumn still. So that's nice. I still have like a tan and it's November 5th, November 7th. So that's great. That's also that also helps give me gives me give me energy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so my student, I'm not going to name any names. It's going to be very confidential. Nobody knows who my student is. Even if you're a teacher in China listening to this, you will not, never guess her unless she tells you this story. And it's a really cool story. So this girl in one of my classes, one of my 16 classes, good luck guessing uh, unless, until she tells you, uh, said... Uh, she kind of got behind in school because she was in the hospital all the time. And I was like, oh, what happened? She was like, uh, she got in a car accident. I was like, okay. So she got in a car accident and, uh, they took an x-ray. She might've hit her head or something. So they took an x-ray of her, her head or maybe even her whole body or just to check everything out. Right. Standard procedure. And it was, uh, they found that she had a freaking brain tumor. And she told me that the doctor cut open her, her skull and took out like a chunk of her brain, took out the tumor. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And, uh, and she's doing all right. I mean, she's like the smartest girl in my class. I, I, I have a feeling she might be older than the other students, you know, because she's been through all that. She might have got held behind a little bit. You know, that happens when stuff like that happens, right? So I'll ask her sometime, like, how old she is. I'm guessing she's older than the rest. She's definitely seems a lot more mature than the rest. Definitely seems perfectly normal, perfectly intelligent. No, no, like, permanent, no weird things about her like you'd never know like they took out a piece of her freaking brain you would never know that so that's a really good thing and I told her and she probably already knew this like um, the moral of the story is like you know something that something bad that happens to you sometimes can actually be a really good thing like in the end so you never know like a car accident oh I got in a car accident I hit my head you know this sucks life sucks and boom, they find a brain tumor and then they heal you because of it. So go figure. So, right there. What did I say exactly? I said like, you never know. Even when something bad happens to you, you never know. It could be, it could turn out to be a really good thing. It's kind of like the corny saying like every, every cloud has a silver lining but that doesn't really fit, that doesn't really fit this very well. So it's more like, you know, you never know. You never know, like when something bad happens to you, you never know, it could actually turn out to be really good. And that's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to everybody, like at least once, several times. Like, how did it happen in my life? What can I think of? something bad that turned out to be good yeah maybe I maybe when I sold 50 bitcoins in 2013 and didn't didn't hold on to them that might be a, that might have been a good thing I wasn't ready for the the wealth so yeah I used to own 50 bitcoins sold them sold them all bought silver I was like ah, they're just bitcoins like this was back when people didn't really know very much about them I had 50 of them. I sold them all and I bought silver and silver freaking went up and then it tanked. And I didn't make any, I, lo I lost money on silver. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I should have kept those Bitcoins. I would have been rich. I would have had what? A Bitcoin today is 35,000. 
like the top price was like 68,000 times 50. You do the math. But in a way, it's been a good thing because I'm, I would have never made it to China. I would have never had all these freaking priceless experiences uh, that I'm going through right now. And there's always the chance of making a comeback one of these days. You know, I'm still in the game. I still got skin in the game. We still got bull markets coming. All right, I'm not gonna talk personally about my finances. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna leave that out for now. Um, but I, I definitely have skin in the game, that's for sure. I'm not all in, but I got a, I got a good chunk in the game. Yes, I do. been an ongoing struggle but I'm happy where I am at right right now I have enough I'm grateful and you know where would I have, where would I have ended up if I had kept those 50 bitcoins who knows maybe I'd be like a landlord and just some freaking rich bitch with no life right that's probably that's what I was that's what I'm thinking. So this is way better than that. Not rich yet, but one of these days. Shit, the world might end tomorrow. The world might end tomorrow, right? Freaking sun. You know the freaking Aurora Borealis all the way down to Texas, all the way down to Turkey just the other day. Okay? That's happening more and more frequently with they're not even strong CME. CME is coronal mass ejections. You can look it up on suspiciousobservers.com. Uh, but most people want to just close their eyes on this roller coaster ride and remain ignorant. Uh, that's fine. But uh, but shit is going down with the magnetic field. And pardon the pun, because that is kind of pun. Punish punny not punny at all it's not punny at all but the pun works right the the magnetic field is going down yes 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 so hopefully it'll take a while before uh it takes out the grid and whatnot um Yeah, it looks like things are about to things are getting really real really quick. Uh, and this is not what this channel is about, but it's kind of about like just me blabbling most of the time. So, you know, I, I might blabble about these things. Um, I, I, I tend not to talk too much unless I'm certain I know exactly what I'm talking about. And for sure, I know exactly our magnetic field is weakening. That is a fact. But don't ask me how long we have or what's exactly is going to happen nobody knows all right I'm not here to predict the future just keep a heads up all right it's time to buy some blueberry juice and some water and some eggs and some milk because that's what i need and then going to the gym to pump freaking iron all right bye bye